My name is Danielle, and I'm going to share my testimony with you today. Um, I was raised in the church. I'm what you call a lap baby. I was uh, on the lap before I began walking. <laughs> and uh, so I know what it's like to grow up as a Christian and to have prayer in your life. I know the importance of that. But secretly for me, deep down when I prayed, I prayed hoping God would provide and not really uh, convinced that he would. And I don't know if anybody struggles with that, but that was my struggle. That was my struggle until God came into my life and gave me a situation or, that I wanna share with you today that changed the way I approach prayer and my prayer life. So in late 2008, um, we had a recession and I was looking for a job. And every day I prayed, God, help me find a job, help me find a job. I prayed this prayer one year, two years, nothing. By the third year, I was completely weary. I was frustrated, I was worn out, I was tired. I was tired of filling out applications, going on interviews, waiting on callbacks, and then getting nothing. But more than that, I was confused. I didn't understand why God wasn't answering my prayer. I mean, it was the only prayer I had. I wasn't even praying any other prayers. That was the only prayer I was praying. It was at that time that I realized, okay, I've lost my faith. I didn't have any hope at all. And that is when the doubt started littering my thoughts. Every day, it just got worse. And then I started doing something. I don't know if you've ever done this. I started asking myself questions. First question I asked myself, well, maybe I've committed a sin that's so great that God isn't gonna forgive me. And, and this is why he's not answering my prayer. Second thought, well, who am I to really believe that God wants to answer my prayer? Who am I to God that he would care to wanna hear about what I'm praying for? And then my third thing, my all time favorite, cause I used to go to this all the time, was why would God wanna help me when there's so much suffering in the world, people are sick, they have real concerns. God isn't concerned about what's going on with me. I mean, my thoughts started running away with me. And it was at that time, you know, that God didn't want that for me. Cause I heard a still small voice that says, if you wanna know something about God, why don't you ask him? So at that moment I stopped, I decided to pray a new prayer. And in that prayer, as sincere as I could be from my heart, I said, God, please show me, tell me why you are not answering my prayer. So a little time later, I was at home, bored, flipping through TV, and I ended up landing on a Christian program. And I was just about to turn the channel when I heard a voice on the other side of the TV say, have you ever prayed and wondered why God hasn't answered your prayers? I thought, oh, and then it says, have you ever thought that God didn't hear your prayers? I started listening intently. And after I listened to that program, my whole life changed because I realized, number one, God had spoken to me right where I was, in my living room, through the TV. He'd answered my prayer. And then what I found out was that I had been so busy praying that I hadn't done the next step was to activate my prayer with any kind of praise. I mean, for three years I have been praying, God, give me a job. But not one time had I talked to God about his goodness, about how he was faithful. So I got the revelation and I turned the TV off and I sat up and I was like, oh God, thank you so much. First of all, I can't even tell you. I'm composing myself right now because I started to cry and I started to thank God. God, thank you so much for giving me this word. And then I began to say, God, I prayed a new prayer. I said, God, Today what I want is a job. I don't want to interview. I don't want to fill out an application. I just want you to send me a job. And then after that, I started praising him. And I thank you, Father, that you're going to send me this job because you're my provider, because you're my El Shaddai. You're everything I need. Father, I give you all the glory and praise and honor. And then I started going to his word and I started saying, your word says, ask and it shall be given. And I just started giving and having a whole praise party. Now, let me tell you something. When I did that, it was like a weight was lifted off of me and all of the frustration that I had turned into excitement because now I was looking forward to God doing what he said he was gonna do. And then in that moment I had a thought, I said, oh, wait a minute, if they call me for the job tomorrow, I'm not ready. 
I had packed up all of my business attire and crates in the basement of my home. I immediately ran downstairs. I picked out some business suits. I found one I liked and I got shoes and everything to go with it. I ironed it and I hung it up and I hung it at my closet door in the kitchen. That's what I would do. So my husband, when he came in, he looked at the clothes. He says, oh, so you have an interview tomorrow, huh? Because normally that's what I do. And I said, no, uh-uh. These clothes right here is not for an interview. This is for when they call me to go to work. He said, go to work where? I said, I don't know, but God knows. And when he calls me, honey, I'm going to be ready. You see that? My clothes, I, I'm going to be ready. So he just kind of like, yeah, okay, went in the kitchen and that was the end of it. But I was so excited about thinking about what God was going to do. I came to Sunday school here at Fifi. And, you know, we always had the praise and prayer after the class. And everybody was, you know, giving prayers. With I said, I have a praise. I raised my hand. And they said, what is it? I said, I got a job. And everybody in my group started clapping and cheering. They were like, yeah, because my Sunday school class had been praying for me to get work. And then in the excitement, somebody yelled out, where are you going to be working? I said, I don't know. But God knows. And when God leads me to it, honey, I'm going to be ready. I started telling them about my outfit that I had hanging up. And everybody was like, okay. And they were like, you know what? That's real faith. So I also used to come walk the gym on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. I had a group of ladies that I walked with. And I started telling them about how God was going to get me a job, no interviews, none of that. And I started telling them about what I was going to wear. And they were like, oh, okay. So I kept doing that. And at the end of the week, when I didn't get a call, I went home. I didn't give up. You know what I did? I walked over to the closet. I looked at the clothes hanging up there. I said, clearly, God, this is not what you want me to wear to my new job. Let me go get a new outfit. So I went down into the basement. I got a new outfit, ironed it, new accessories and everything. I said, okay, God, ready to go. And I kept doing this process every week. So about the third or fourth week, phone rings. It was on a Tuesday evening. A friend of mine called. She said, hey, Dee, are you still looking for a job? I said, yeah, I'm still looking for a job. So she started telling me about a job with her company, and I'm just sitting there, I'm listening. And then she said, so do you want it? I said, do I want it? I said, what, what, what do I have to do? She said, show up at 9 o'clock in the morning, and it's yours. And just like that, God had answered my prayer. So what I want to tell you guys today, I just want to let you know that God is faithful. And if you're struggling in your prayer life, please don't let that struggle continue on. Trust and believe that God will do what he says he's going to do. And from that moment to this one, I'm going to borrow a quote. I believe what God says and not what I see. My brothers and sisters in Christ, there's no better way to have faith um, and have your faith just skyrocket off into the stratosphere than to be on the receiving end of repeated answered prayer. So I'm here today to tell you, trust God, try God, pray to God. And when you do and you give him praise on top of your prayer, just buckle up, be ready, because he's going to take you into the stratosphere. Amen. Amen.